Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. If it's not, welcome back. Um, I haven't made a video in a while again. Look at that long delay of me making videos. But today I thought I would set up my RC600 with uh, a couple of other bits either side and then we'll just put some videos together. I've had a few questions and requests to talk about a few things. So we're gonna kick off with this one first of all. This over here is an M Audio expression pedal. Um, it's quite a, a cheapish one. Yeah, there are other expression pedals you can use and I'm sure the way that I'm gonna show you today will work just the same. Um, but basically uh, what we're gonna talk about is how to use an expression pedal to control things like your mic volume, master volume, loop volumes, um, any other volumes, rhythm volumes that you can think of. There are other things you can do with it, of course, but we're just gonna be talking about levels and volumes and things today. Um, if, you, if it's your first time here, there's plenty of other content that you can always check out if, um, if you wish and do consider subscribing to the channel. And there's also now, for anybody that finds this content useful, there's now a link below to buy me a coffee as you, as you wish. Anyway, let's get to it. So we're talking about this expression pedal over here. And what I've done is I've plugged my expression pedal into, I'm not sure if you can see that, expression one, two. So that's gonna be uh, this one right here. So the other one is gonna be my FS7 foot switch. We can ignore that for the time being. We're just talking about expression one and two. Um, so this is the RC600, as I'm sure you are familiar with. I've not recorded anything in. We're just gonna talk about how to control the, the levels and how to set those up with the expression pedal. So there's a couple of ways of doing it. First of all, you can do it this way. So you just go to menu and hit it twice and you go to control function and then go all the way across to control expression. And now here, here are your four controls, which you could use maybe foot switches for, but we're gonna use an expression pedal. So I'll go across one page and remember, I'm plugged into expression one. So um, there we go, expression one. So I'm gonna set up expression one. Now I can turn this left hand knob and scroll over to any of the settings I wish to control. So let's go, for, let's just do rhythm level one. Uh, the target here, so this would be the minimum the volume would be. So if I want it to be completely off when my expression pedal is back, then I will put zero there. And if I want it to be 200, uh, well, level 200 when it's up. Um, it's going to be quite loud, or it could be quite loud, depending on your settings, then that's going to hit the maximum when the foot switch is down, sorry, when the expression pedal's down. So I'm just going to pull it back, and I'm going to set my maximum just to, let's be a, um, somewhere in the middle, so let's just go for 150. Okay. So now when it's zero, it'll, sorry, when it's back, it's going to be zero, and when it's forward, it's going to be 150, and obviously you can control that um, for any of those in between, as you wish. So... That's all we've done. So if I just go uh, out of there, and just to show you that that's now worked, if I press, this is a shortcut to get to your mixer settings. If I press enter, I can either press enter again, um, or I can just go across the page like this. And see how my rhythm out is now on zero because my expression pedal is back. If I push that forward, it's gonna go up to 150. So I'll just pan out so you can see. I'm not sure if you can see that, but if I just pull it back, you can see that fader just going down and up. So that's the first way I can just control my uh, rhythm volume because that's the one that we've set up. So let's just go back into my menu settings again and I'm just gonna turn that off so it just doesn't confuse anything. Um, so it was expression one, wasn't it? And let's just go ahead and turn that off. And now the second way that I can do this, I've got many more options if I go to, um, my assigns. So let's use assign number one. Don't forget to turn it on first of all. Assign number one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for expression one. So that would be after my controls, there it is. I'm gonna leave it on momentary. And I'm just gonna go across to uh, whatever I want it to do. So for this one, let's control, um, let's control a mic. Um, level or a mic volume and we'll use mic one which is somewhere if you push down forget don't forget if you've not already learned this if you push down and turn this knob then it can it can go through things a bit quicker uh so there we go so let's have a look for where is it did i go past it nope let's keep going well maybe i've already got oh there we go Right, so mic one level, um, and let's just leave this on zero to 200. So 
Now that I've done that, I can come out. I'm just going to exit out and go back to my mixer settings. And you can see mic one is zero at the moment. Um, I've got it all the way back. And let's just push it forward. And it goes all the way up to 200. So now that expression pedal is controlling my mic uh, level. And let's just do one more, just for the hell of it. Um, and let's go back. Menu. Um, this time we're on assigns. And let's just go back into assign number one. We'll leave that as expression one and go across this time. Let's control, we can go any to control anything, any of these, by the way. Let's just do the, um, where was it? The master level. So we're going to go zero to 200 with the master level this time. If I come out of there and go into my mixer, master out is at zero. It just did a little funny thing then because I pulled my expression pedal back. And there we go. So it's now controlling the master volume. So that's how you can use an expression pedal to control levels, volumes, anything that you wish to sort of scroll through. Um, don't forget, after you've done all this, you will need to save it for that particular memory. So enter and exit together and write. Thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. I shall see you all in the next one. Ta-ta.